Hi, it's Miss Lisa with Growing Brilliant. I am so excited that you came to Storytime with us today. I found a really fun book that I wanted to share with you today. You see, this week we've been talking all about different animals that we might see in the springtime. So I found a fun book about an animal that starts with the letter F, like f. It's a sly and cunning, mischievous animal. And I'm going to show you what it is now. Do you want to take a guess? It's a fox. Do you see this silly fox hanging upside down? I told you, foxes can be kind of tricky. What else do you see on this cover? This is the front cover of the book. What do you see? I see a friend. What is she doing? She's holding a camera and wearing a backpack. She's doing something interesting with her hand, too. What is she doing? She has it above her eyes like this, like she's looking around for something. Do you think she might be looking for something? There's another clue on the cover of this story that might help us figure out if that's what she's doing. And that's going to be the title of the book. So the title of this book is called How to Find a Fox. Hmm. Do you think she might be looking for a fox? All of the clues seem to suggest it. But I wonder. Hmm. Should we open up the book and find out? Okay, good idea. Now, How to Find a Fox is written and illustrated by Nyla McGregor. She is an author illustrator because she did both write the story and make the beautiful pictures. Isn't that fun? All right, let's open up the book and see what it says. It says, How to Find a Fox. Hmm. Looks like she's taking a walk through the woods. Do you think that's where foxes hang out? I guess we'll find out. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole will do. The best foxes are at home when you visit. Do you know what a foxhole is? That's right, it's a home for a fox. So like this hole in the side of the hill, that's a foxhole. They burrow down into the ground and that's where they live. That's so interesting. Take out your fox bait. Place it somewhere easy to spot. Hide, then wait very quietly. So do you see this scene she set up? She put out some bait. What that is is some food for the fox. It's a chicken leg. So she put out some food and thought maybe the fox would come out to get it and she would be able to take a picture. She would find that fox. So she's waiting very quietly underneath the bush. What do you notice on this page? Is that the fox? Hmm. Do you think she knows he's there? I don't think so. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> That's a silly picture. <laughs> it says, wait a little longer. <sighs> She's just waiting to find that fox. Maybe you should try a different approach. Look at the fox did come out and eat the chicken leg. Tread slowly over the ground. Foxes have keen hearing. You don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. Do you see the tracks on the ground here? Look at, that's like footprints. So it's the fox's footprints coming all the way to the base of this tree. And the friend is looking down at the footprints. 
What is she not noticing in the tree? Do you see the fox there? I don't think she realizes it's there. Let's keep reading. Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails, kind of like foxes. Wait a minute. Is there something funny going on in this picture of the raccoon family? Is that a fox hiding in that picture? Do you think our friend notices? It doesn't look like she does. <laughs> it says, put out more bait. Wait longer this time. Look at that sneaky fox. He's right above the rock that she's sitting under. Oh, oh no. You waited too long. Lying around won't bring foxes to you. Keep looking. Stalk through the grass. Make fox calls. Search by the stream. Make more fox calls. Roll down a hill. It won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. Do you like to roll down a nice grassy hill? It sure is fun. Maybe you need a change of perspective. Climb a tree. So do you see the friend left her backpack at the bottom of the tree and she's climbing with her camera slowly, carefully. There he is. So do you see the fox is right down here at the bottom of the tree and our friend is way up at the top of the tree. That sneaky fox. Huh. What a trickster. Climb down from the tree. He's getting away. Uh-oh. By the time she got down the tree, that fox is running away. Now what? Let's find out. Run, run, you've gotta be quick. Look at, she's running along. She's following the tracks. Don't lose him. She crawls through the log. You lost him. Oh, where do you think he went? If you follow the tracks, you can see it leads to a hole in the ground. Do you remember that foxes go into the holes in the ground? Do you think that's where he went? Let's find out. Pages are sticking. Kick a rock. No, wait, not, not that one. <laughs> that's a pretty big rock, isn't it? Kick a smaller rock. Lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was the wrong day to find foxes. She's laying in the grass and she looks defeated like she doesn't think she'll ever find that fox. She's been working really hard, hasn't she? Do you ever feel like giving up? Yeah, sometimes I do too. Hmm, let's see what happens to our friend. It says, maybe you should just give up. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What do you do now? Hmm, do you think she should give up? I don't think she should give up. I think she should keep trying. So she's laying on her back and she's looking up at the clouds in the sky and it says, take deep breaths. Can you take a deep breath with me? Go. <sighs> Close your eyes. Take a walk in your mind. Now's not the time to give up. 
what you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that it's staring you right in the face. Do you see the friend still laying on the ground? She has her camera in front of her face and she's looking through the camera at the clouds in the sky. Let's see what happens. Some days, a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days, he wants to find you. Do you see what's happening here? She's looking through her camera and remember she saw the clouds in the sky? And now what does she see? That sneaky fox looking right in her camera. He's sitting on her tummy. You fox. <laughs> Congratulations. You are a master at finding foxes. Look at all the pictures she took of that fox with her camera once she found it. Once that fox decided he was okay with being found, she sure got a lot of really great pictures of him. Look at there's his sharp teeth and tongue, his bushy tail. Here he is standing over the foxhole. These are just his what? Maybe his ears? That's right. Oh, and look at this picture. What did he find in this picture? It's a ladybug. <laughs> that is so fun. All right, the end. I had so much fun reading how to find a fox with you and learning about that sneaky fox and our friend who never gave up. I have a really fun idea for an activity that I'd like to do with you. Would you like to hear about what it is? Okay, let's head over to the art table and we'll do it together. Okay, are you ready to do an activity with me? Today we read a really fun book called How to Find a Fox. And I thought that it would be fun for us to do an activity where we're looking for a fox. Does that sound like fun to you? Good, I'm so glad to hear it. So, I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna do this activity. The first thing I'd like to know is, do you have a coloring picture of a fox? Were you able to download and print that template? If you were, wonderful. If you were not able to do that, that's fine. You can either stop now and go get one, or you can draw your own picture of a fox on plain paper while we do our activity. If you do have your picture of a fox, go ahead and feel free to color it while we do this activity together. Does that sound fun? Okay, very good. So, I have here on the table several items, okay? And then they are some items that we saw in the story, How to Find a Fox. So let's talk about what we have here, all right? What do you see in this picture? It's gray and bumpy. This thing is very hard. And in the story, it talked about kicking one, but not a big one. You don't want to hurt yourself. <laughs> what is this here? That is a rock. You're right. It's a rock. Next, we have this one. Do you know what this is? It is a tree that has fallen and the inside is hollowed out. We saw our friend in the story crawling through one. Do you remember? Did you say a log? That's right, it's a log. Very nice. Okay, next, this one here in the middle. It's something that we use to take pictures and our friend in the story was carrying one and she actually saw the fox through it at the end. Do you remember? That's right. What is this a picture of? It's a camera. That's right. Okay, let's do a couple more. Do you see this picture? It's tall, made out of wood and leaves, 
and our friend in the story climbed to the very top of one while she was looking for that fox. What is this? That's right, it's a tree. One more, do you think you can guess? This, you might need to pay attention to. So in this picture, I see a log, I see some grass, and I see a hole in the ground. Now in our story, we learned the name for a hole in the ground where foxes burrow to, to live underground. Do you remember what it's called? It's called a fox what? A foxhole. You are so good at this. Okay, so now we have our pictures. We have our rock, our log, our foxhole, our tree, and our camera, okay? And we are going to be looking inside these cups to see if we can find a fox. Should we try that together? All right, the way we're gonna pick which cup we look under is I have some cards here that are letters of the alphabet. And each of these letters represents the first letter of one of these items. So I'm going to hold up a letter, we're gonna talk about what letter that is and the sound that it makes, and then I want you to tell me which of these pictures be begins with that letter. Do you think you can do that? Well, let's practice together. So let's pick up our first letter. It's this letter here. Can you see? That is a letter R. Can you say R? R, that's right. And what sound does the letter R make? Hmm, it says, <laughs> Can you say that? The letter R. That's right. So, of these pictures, which begins with the letter R? Does foxhole begin with the letter R? No. Does camera begin with the letter R? No. Does rock begin with the letter R? Rock. Rock. Does that start with R? It sure does. So should we look in the R, in the rock, and see if we can find that fox? Okay, let's say one, two, three, oh! Uh-oh. Is there a fox inside that cup? No, it's empty, that's right. So there was no fox inside the cup. So we're gonna try again, let's choose another letter. This time we're going to do the letter, what letter is this? I'll give you a hint. It makes the sound What letter makes that sound? Hmm, it's the letter very good, F says F, very nice. So let's see, which of these words starts with the letter F? How about a tree? Does tree start with the letter F? Let's see, tree, tree, F, hmm, I don't think so, do you? No, not the tree. How about the l log? Does log begin with the letter F? Hmm. I don't think that's it either. Let's see. Hmm. What about this one? Do you remember what this is called? This is a foxhole. Does foxhole begin with the letter F? Foxhole. Fox. F. I think it does. You're right. Foxhole begins with the letter F. Very good. Okay, should we look under the foxhole and see if we can find that fox? Are you ready? One, two, three. Uh-oh. Is there a fox in that foxhole? No, it's empty. All right, should we try again? 
Okay, let's give it another go. This time, we're going to look for something with this letter. Do you know what letter this is? It's a letter T. Can you say the sound that letter T makes? Do you know? Hmm, T says T, 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 T. Very good, T, T. So, which of these words begins with the letter T? Hmm, I wonder. Is it this one, the rock? No, rock starts with R. We already talked about that. What about this one, the K camera? T, T, K camera. No, it's not the camera. Hmm. What about this one? What is this? A tree. That's right. Does tree start with the letter T? Let's see. T, 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 tree, tree, tree. I think it does. Do you think so? Tree. Yeah, a tree does start with the letter T. Very good. Okay, are you ready to look under the tree to see if we can find that fox? Okay, one, two, gotcha! Oh, wait a minute. Is there a fox under that tree or up in that tree? No, there's no fox there either. Okay, let's see. We need to try again. I have another letter here. This is a letter that makes the sound k, k, k. Do you know what letter this is? K, k. This is the letter C. And C makes the sound k, k, k. So I wonder, which of these things begins with the letter C? Hmm. Do you think it's a tree? No, we already found out that the tree starts with the letter T. Hmm. How about this one? What is this let, um, picture? It's a log. Can you say log? Does log begin with the letter C? Hmm. S -k -k -k. Log. No. No, that definitely doesn't start with the letter C. What about hmm, this one? What is this a picture of? That's right, it's a camera. Does the word camera start with the letter C? Let's see. K, k, camera. K, 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 camera. It does. Camera does start with the letter C. That's awesome. All right, so should we look under the camera and see if there's a fox there? Okay, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and when I lift the cup, I want you to say, gotcha. Can we try that? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, gotcha! Uh-oh. Was there a fox hiding under the camera? No, there was no fox there. Hmm, we have one more left. Okay, we have one more left. We have a letter. Do you know what one this is? It makes this sound. Oh, oh, hmm. What letter makes the sound? Oh, it's a letter L. L says, oh. So which of these pictures begins with the letter L? Let's find out. How about this picture? Do you remember what this was? That was a foxhole. Does foxhole begin with letter L? No. We already learned that it starts with the f, f, f sound. What about this one? Yeah, I think this is the last one that we haven't looked under yet. I think the fox might be hiding under the log. Log. Does log start with the letter L? Let's see. We say log. L log. It does. Oh my goodness. I think we might have found that sneaky fox. Should we look under the log and see if it's there? 
Okay, when I say three, I'm gonna lift the log and we're gonna say, gotcha! Okay, would you like to try? All right, let's go one, two, three, gotcha! Uh, wait a minute. There is no fox hiding under that log. Now, I'm a little confused because we already looked. There was no fox under the rock. No. There was no fox under the camera, right? No. There was no fox in the foxhole. There was no fox in the log. There was no fox in the tree. And we used all of the letters. We already used R and F and T and K, -k and O. Where could that silly sly fox be? I wonder if we could get a clue by looking in our story and seeing what that little girl needed to do to find that fox. Because I know she looked everywhere. She did everything she was supposed to do to find that fox and she still had a hard time. So maybe we can learn something from it too. Let's see. I know that near the end of the story, hmm, she just needed to think a little differently. And we're gonna start here. Remember it said, some days a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days he wants to find you. So what did she do to find that fox? Wait a minute. That fox was right in front of her that whole time. It was sitting on her tummy. Can you look around you? I'm wondering if the fox is where you are. Did that fox find you? Hmm. Let's put our hand on our head like our friend who was looking for the fox. And I want you to look all around and tell me, do you see a fox? Where could it be? Is it under your table? Is it up on the ceiling? Is it on your table in front of you? Do you have a picture of a fox on the table in front of you that you've been coloring this whole time? Oh my goodness. All this time that fox has been right there in front of you. That silly fox tricked us again. <sighs> that is so funny. I had so much fun reading the story, How to Find a Fox with You, and going on our fox hunt adventure together. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you next time. Bye.